Why did I decide to do this at night? <laughs> oh my goodness! I mean, you've seen the Lorax. As you can see, got the bike, got the night, add them together. We're going on a night bike ride. I'm gonna be filming this on this little GoPro plus a mixture of my phone. I don't know how well this camera's gonna pick up everything. Let's start the voyage. There's no way you can see me right now. You might be wondering, why am I doing this? And it's because I have free will. And I thought it would be a fun idea because most of my YouTube videos, they are gonna take a while to film. What is something that I can film in kind of sort of one go? Because I want to try to upload weekly. We'll see how that goes. I'm struggling. This is like the tiniest hill ever. You can bike at night, and it's pretty peaceful actually. I feel like more people should bike. Because there was this point in my life where I didn't have access to a car, and I just biked everywhere. I biked to work. If I wanted to go to someone's house, I biked to their house. I biked to school. And it was kind of exhilarating, because I would bike for, I don't know, like 30 minutes straight. And it honestly does help mental health and stuff. So I recommend it. But you know, this cold, this weather is not helping my mental health. Crossing a road. I don't actually know where I'm going. Yes, I do. I don't know if it's gonna be a well-lit area though. I have this flash. Oh my goodness. I'm going so fast. No hands. Oh shit. I'm so out of breath. I'm so out of shape. I need to chill out. For how much I used to bike, me being out of breath is kind of embarrassing. I feel like most people have an issue with phone addiction slash social media addiction. It's kind of creepy back here. But I just feel like I want to talk about that real quick. Because it's, it's seriously a big deal. There's been times where I have scrolled on social media for probably around the whole day. And after I did that, I felt absolutely horrible. Being on social media or your phone for just a really long time, it really does impact your mental health. And I don't know that a lot of people right now are talking about that, but I just do want to mention that because I think it's a serious problem. That's part of the reason why I'm biking right now because I want to be able to do something, like actually physically do something, not just watch, I don't know, someone else do something. The way that a lot of apps are so addictive, where the f am I going? Can't, oh my goodness, I can't see when I do that. That was a bad idea. I don't like this. This is so dark, I'm scared. I'm turning around. Of course this happened in like the darkest part. Why did I decide to do this at night? My water bottle thing fell off. The darkest part could possibly fall off. Traveling back to well-lit areas. Yeah, I just think social media, phones. I just feel like everyone needs to get off them every once in a while. I don't have much to say about it because I will admit I am kind of addicted to. I'm trying not to be. Like, I put my phone in grayscale sometimes. I have this app called Opal, which is like a screen time app that can block your apps. So at least I'm aware of the issue. And I feel like that's the first step is being aware of the issue. Honestly, I feel like a kid again biking like this. I feel like most people during quarantine went out and biked a lot. At least that's what I did when I was in quarantine. And just a lot during my childhood. Heard a noise, probably a bunny. I don't know where I'm going at this point. I'm just going. Okay, are you guys ready? I'm gonna do no hands. <laughs> oh my goodness. This is amazing and terrifying at the same time. But I love it. I love the, oh, I love the adrenaline. As I was saying, I just feel like people should do more of what they did in their childhood. So I think nostalgia is a really good feeling. Obviously, things in their childhood that made them happy could be video games, like a certain type of video game, could be a show or movie you watched, it could be drawing, it could be reading, it could be biking, skateboarding, scootering, playing at a park. I mean, heck, I mean, if it's an empty park, there are no kids there, why not just play on it? Swing on a swing set. People gotta realize there's not rules about that. Like, if you wanna do kid stuff, you can. If you wanna do feminine stuff, you can. If you wanna do masculine stuff, you can. It doesn't matter. Like, I feel like a lot of people are afraid of being cringe and people looking down at them or people judging them or anything like that. Well, honestly, if it makes you happy and you're not hurting anyone, who cares? People are actually going to judge you no matter what. There's definitely people judging me right now. I don't care. I'm having a great time. This is so exhausting. Oh my goodness. Just do what you love, man. That's what I'm saying. I feel like more people need to appreciate the outdoors. <laughs> I'm just rambling, but it's true. Depending on where you live, you can just go outside and walk around and just view everything. Like with the Apple Vision Pro coming out and other advanced technology and AI and everything. 
feel like people are losing sight of the fact that we have so much around us already. I mean, you've seen the Lorax. <laughs> no one can just craft a tree and it'd be the same as the trees we have now. If you've never climbed a tree before, climb a tree. I lost some of the GoPro footage, but basically I was talking about how I wanted to cut my curtain bangs in a YouTube video. But I've been letting them kind of grow out because I want to do it on video and I want it to be kind of a dramatic difference. Since I'm going to be filming it, I might get a little scissor happy. But we'll see what happens. I don't know, I like the long curtain bang look, but I also like the short curtain bang look. Luckily, I can have both at different periods of my life. I think I'm lost. No, I'm not. If I get lost, then the journey back will be the way to be found. That is amazing. Someone is walking right now. On your right. This is so fun. If you want to see more video of me biking or just like this, you know, let me know. I could talk about a specific topic or something. I've just been rambling with this. I need to chill out. Remember to stay hydrated. If you're not hydrated, what are you even doing? And soda does not hydrate you. It makes you more dehydrated. So if you grab that Dr. Pepper on the side of your nightstand, get water instead. Comment down below if you like Hello Kitty. I have a headache. I always seem to have a headache. You're in a serene serenity and the water is splashing across your toes. You feel the sand beneath you and you're finally at peace. I don't know what that was. Meditate with me. Wait, I have an idea. Okay. This is very dangerous. Meditation. The grass is always greener on the other side because it's fake. Have you guys ever sharpened a stick? Like you find a stick on the ground, right? And you have a pocket knife or just some sort of knife. And you use that knife and you start sharpening the stick into a spear or something. If you haven't done that, another thing I recommend. How the fuck they beeping? Why are you beeping? What's the point in beeping? I don't see a point in beeping. I don't think anyone did anything wrong. But I also wasn't really looking. In the microwave, cookies are cooking. Guys, I'm not a rap artist. I don't have a rap career yet. You wanna know something I've done before? I have went on the trails around my neighborhood and I did cartwheels on the trail. And I also ran Well, no one was looking because I didn't want anyone to see that. GoPro just tweaked out. What I was saying was, I was saying, I forgot. Oh yeah, I did cartwheels. I'm just saying if you know how to do a cartwheel and you have a trail near you, do a cartwheel on the trail just to do it because you have free will because it's fun. Throw a rock as far as you can. Skip rocks in the motherfucking water. Let's try something new. Do something you haven't done before. Trust me, doing stuff like this is so much more rewarding than being on your phone. If you haven't done your homework yet, do it. If you're procrastinating on anything, do it. Personally, I'm procrastinating on my English essay. But it's not due for, well, like three more days and I'll get to it. I feel like sometimes you have to prioritize your mental health before homework. Just don't get too crazy with it. A danger about procrastination, usually with procrastination, a deadline comes up and you panic about it. So you do it right before the deadline and somehow you finish it like just at 11.59 or something. The thing about procrastination is if there's a deadline, typically most people do get it done. Even if they did procrastinate a bunch. It's not a good thing to do, but that's the truth of the matter. Why it's so dangerous, for one, it's stressful. You're definitely not putting enough quality as you should into your work. And not everything has a deadline. Everyone has personal goals and aspirations and stuff. And there's not always a deadline on those. So your career, there's not a deadline on that. Like seeing your friends, seeing your family, spending time doing the stuff you love. You can procrastinate on all of those things. There's not going to be a deadline for it. And one day, uh, you might wish that you didn't procrastinate on those things. So that's why it's important to not do it. How to not do it? I'm not the guy to ask. There's a dog barking. Do you have that dog in you? Let me know in the comments down below. Thank you guys for watching. I really appreciate it. This video was fun to make, so I might make more videos kind of like this. We'll see what happens. If you've made it this far into the video, comment your favorite color. So long. Do I look like a fish? Hey, I'm a fish today. I wasn't sure if you were aware, but I'm a fish. Inception. She does not like the light. Don't like it. But she has to deal with it. Oh.
that's how you can tell it's recording. And I think this is the microphone. And the way that a lot- Oh my god, it's echoing. Oh, this every other advantage. I lost some of the go poof poof. It's usually, usually with Oh, my pinky hurts. My GoPro made a beep. Anyways, stop beeping. Whatever.